Well, welcome back to Lady by Lane Soaps. It is January 3rd, 2018, and it seems like forever and ever since I have made a large batch of soap. And I, this is the first soap that I will be making for Valentine's Day. I know, I, I know I'm really, really, really far behind on that. So anyway, I hope everybody had a good Christmas and, um, and a good New Year's Day. So I need to get moving here, scooting along fast. I have the goat's milk sitting in the sink and I, um, I had to you know, keep it cold and then it was too cold. So then I had to, um, and then I took it off of the ice bath and then went up to 85 and so then I had to throw it back on on the ice bath and then I got too cold so now it's just kind of sitting here at a happy about oh 72 ish so I think that's gonna be okay so anyway today I thought that I would um, do a um, a soap that I have never done before I have seen it on Brambleberry and it looks so nice uh, and I've seen other gals do it also and so the fragrance that Brambleberry Brambleberry there you go usually uses is this is their quart rose quart fragrance oil which I do not have but what I have in its place is something that's maybe going to be close so anyway um, so what I have is, both from Brambleberry of course, is this apple sage and this crisp apple rose. And I just only had about one ounce, or maybe about 1.22 ounces of this crisp apple rose, which smells so nice. There is no vanilla in it, yet no discoloration. And from what I remember last time, it really worked well in the soap. And this apple sage is probably one of my favorite fragrances from Brambleberry and just an all-time favorite. It is so wonderful. And it's kind of hard to really tell or to distinguish if it's more apple or more rose. So I think you can kind of just, um, you know, throw out whatever name that you would like. And also there is no vanilla and no discoloration. So that is what's going to be in there. And uh, let's see. And then on the top, um, I bought from the grocery store some of this pink Himalayan salt, which I have never used before, but have wanted to try. So I'm going to give it a, a go. And then on the top, I'm going to try sprinkling some of this. It's from uh, Nurture Soap. It's called the Snowflake Sparkle. I suppose I better see if I'm actually in view here. Am I in view? Yes, I am. And so I'm going to, I usually don't like using this, but I'm going to just sprinkle this on the top using this little, little gadget here. So we'll, we'll see. And then I'll probably put a little bit of ti titanium dioxide in the batch. And for the color, I'm going to split it in half. And so I'm going to, Use some of this electric uh, bubble gum just about out here. And so here's a, a brand new one from Brambleberry. And I just love this. It's so nice. So I'm going to use that in half the batch. And in the other half, probably use that snowflake sparkle. So anyway, I think I better get moving here. See how we're doing with this goat's milk. Got to get my little stool up here. Whoop! don't want to be falling down. So let's just give this a quick temp here. So we're at about 72, 72 and a half. So that should be all right. And so this is a, it's 65 ounces of oils. Okay, so this has been cooling down. So this is about this is fluctuating between 79 and 80. So I hope that's not too much of a what did I say this was? So that was 80. Now 
we're scooting up here to 72. So, all right, well, let's cross our little fingers here. I'll cut. Over there in the corner, I have some Red's Ale. It's I have a, what is it, a raspberry and a black cherry. That I have fragrance oils for, and I want to, um, or I need to do something with them. They've been si sitting there for probably all of Christmas, waiting for me to do something with them. All right. Okay. So let's. How do I want to do this? Scooter over here. All right. Okay, I'm just going to let that sit there. I really need to get a bigger bucket. Okay, down she goes. It's been a while since I've made an all goat milk soap. So I bought this goat's milk from a local, oh, what do you want to call them, natural food store. And let me see if I can scrape while I'm reading my little notes. So it's from a farm called Grace Harbor Farms up in Custer, Washington here, my home state, Washington State in the Great Pacific Northwest. There we go, put that in the sink. And so it's just a family-run farm. And, and I was looking on the internet. Give it a quick little whirl here. That, that they have been in business for three generations, which is kind of neat. And so, like I've said before in my other videos, I really like supporting family farms. I think they're just, they're part of America. They have, you know, it's what, it's what America is, is family-run farms and businesses. And, okay, in goes the fragrance oil. So, I think, and then the other goat's milk that I used last time, oh gosh, where was that? Ah, it was the, what was it, the three-footed farm or something that was closer to Mount Rainier? It's terrible, I can't remember the names, so sorry. Oh my gosh, this fragrance, this fragrance is awesome, awesome. I lost my lid to that, so, okay, well let's get this. Emulsify. Oh, nothing like getting your gloves stuck in there. Oh, thank you very much. I haven't done that before. Okay. A little bit more here. Now I need to add, let's add some of the titanium dioxide. Okay, maybe, how's that? A nice little dribble. Whoop, oh man. Did you see that? Okay, I better give that a... Seems like the titanium dioxide does not look good until you give it a little... Now I think this, because it is goat's milk, I don't think it's going to be really, really white. Oh, 
thought. Okay, so I think I'm going to pour off half of this. I know I'm quite behind on my Valentine's Day soap, but but I just for once just wanted to to just not do any soaping at Christmas. I just wanted to spend the time with my family and decorating the yard and the house and I made just a, baz a bajillion different types of cookies and let me see if we're still blinking. Yes we are. And so it was probably one of the nicest, most relaxing Christmases I have ever had with my with my husband and two sons. And and my my boys are let's see, one is twenty-three and the other one is twenty-five. And I just love having them at home. And I know that they always won't be here with us. They'll you know that they'll uh, you know, be, be leaving us one of these days, you know, and, um, so I have no regrets that, that I'm probably a little bit behind on my Valentine's, Valentine's Day soap making, so, anyway, okay, so, so I'm going to put just a little bit of this Sparkle Mica, okay, this, is this spoon getting in there? Whoop, boy, that's flicking around there. Maybe I'll use the other end here. And I want to save some for the top. Okay, I don't even know if this is going to show up, but I'm just going to give it a try. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, as my grandmother used to say. Do you see any sparkles in there? I don't know. Last couple days it's been feeling like I've been trying to come down with <coughs> something, excuse me. moved on to the next one. I bet it will thicken up. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Actually, you know what? I don't even need to wipe that, maybe. Should have grabbed a cough drop. Okay. Better grab my stool here. Okay, are we still blinking? Yep. Maybe I'll... Oop, sorry. There we go. <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Okay, let's grab some of this electric bubble gum. Oh, my eyes are starting to water. Oop. Well, Did not see that.
Okay, so I turned off the camera just for a few minutes just to let the top kind of set up a little bit here and I I was just kind of playing around down here so I really don't want you know waves I, I'm just just want to do something I don't know really what I want to do but then it will be covered up by this um, snowflake mica here so And the recipe is a two to one, so hopefully I won't have to wait very many days to and mold this, but we'll see. I don't know if I like that. See, it seems, it seems like it's just been forever since I've done any swirls. It's an awful feeling. Okay, where's some white? Where's some white? Give me some white. Hmm. Of course, you know you fuss with the top and then you end up cutting it. And... Fuss, fuss, fuss. Of course, now this end looks funny. All right, you know what? Let's call it good. Put the sparkle mica on. Make sure we're still a blinking. Yes, we are. So this is the whoop, almost lost it there. So this is the first time I have used this mica. It's almost like a powder. Can you just can you see it just kind of flying everywhere? Well, that's pretty. But this fragrance, those two fragrances, the apple sage and that um, what, blah, blah, uh, crisp apple rose, there we go. It smells so good. I mean, you just can't go, go wrong with that. Well, you know, I'm feeling so much better just right now just knowing that I have at least one one soap going here for Valentine's Day and it's gonna be a little close being January 3rd but, but that's all right you know what I'm just gonna have a smoochy more smoochy moji and I really need, maybe, maybe part of my, uh, I know, I, actually, I don't even want to call it uh, a New Year's reg resolution because I, I never make them. And if I did, I wouldn't keep them. Oh, what was that? I was going to say, I've been, uh, last year, when I was soaping, I did not make, not one batch of soap that had any of no roses or leaves or nothing and that's one thing that i really want to get going on this year okay sorry for the shadows there i know this kitchen is whoop, not the greatest with light now i know that Several of my customers are not keen on stuff on top of their soaps, but I just wanted something, something different this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Stop, stop, stop. So, 
I think that turned out rather well. And I think all of my my new followers are the people who have people have been going to my Ladybug Lane soaping page on Facebook and who've been following me on on YouTube. I thank you very much. Alrighty. Anyway, I think that is rather pretty. I like the the pink and the shimmery little mica. So I will be cutting this probably in a few days or so. So thank you again for for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. All right, bye bye. Welcome back to Ladybug Lane Soaps and I am going to be cutting yesterday's loaf of the rose quartz and I just wanted to show you before I got going here I was mentioning in the video yesterday that my uh, my sister-in-law Angie made this apron for me which has all of these little ladybugs on it here and she did such a good job and and I was just telling her that the apron that I did have is years and years old and so I just kind of wanted something cute that uh, you know it, that kind of tied in with my business name, business name of the Ladybug Lane uh, soaps and but here's these little these little buttons here I, I hope that they can can focus aren't those just adorable uh, and I just think that they're just so doggone cute Look at that. Aren't they? Aren't they just sweet? So, and, and, uh, anyway, so, but for Christmas, oh my gosh. So she made, so she made my, our mother-in-laws, not my mother-in-law, but our mother-in-laws, just a big box of all of these different types of aprons for Christmas and Halloween and Easter and the 4th of July. And oh my gosh, they are just adorable. So anyway, but let me just show you really fast. Like I, I'm just tickled pink with, with how this soap turned out. Isn't that pretty? I sure hope it's it's focusing. But I, but I thought it just really, really turned out pretty doggone good. So and it's it feels pretty hard. It uh, probably hasn't even been. 24 hours yet since I cut it so I think I'm going to lay it on its side so yeah see so that that Himalayan salt is already fallen off so let's just see what happens but anyway hopefully I don't start coughing like yesterday that was that was terrible and I I definitely do have something uh, some little bug that I caught at the store over New Year's. There we go. Over New Year's Eve day. All right. Just make sure that we're all focused in there. So I'm quite excited to see. There we go. To see this cut. And when I made the Victorian Christmas soap. Several of you said, oh, I wish I could have seen the the cut. And, and I was just trying to keep my video time shorter. But you know what? Maybe I want to um, cut a little bit off the bottom there. So I, I was just trying to have my videos you know kind of under so many there's so many minutes but I do know that a, a lot of people like to see the final cut of soaps I don't know if that turned out too nice but all right ah uh, yeah it still is I don't know what that did there all right a scooter on in but yeah, last night I was I was just coughing up a storm. I had a tickle in my throat. All right, <coughs> and there 
goes the salt. See, that's, that's the thing about having stuff. Stuff in your... Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Needs to be cleaned up a little bit, of course, but... Yeah, that's pretty. All right. Well, I won't cut the whole thing. I'll just... I'll just cut, cut a lit, a few pieces, just so you can get an idea. Probably hear the salt falling. All righty. Yeah. There you go. I was hoping for maybe a little bit more swirl. I did. I did use the um, my larger green hanger swirl. I probably did have more of the pink batter, but that's all right. All right. So I usually cut these at about an inch. Yeah, still feeling a little sticky inside. Hopefully these are showing up. Oh, that's nice. Has a little bit more swirlies in there. All right. All right, gang. Oh, wait, you know what? One more. One more. So I, I was just thinking last night when I was in bed, it's like, oh my gosh, I just need to get making more soap, you know, with roses and leaves on them. And Oh, that's nice. I do like that. Oh, look at that. Very nice, very nice. Oh, and I do see some of that, uh, that mica... That, what was that called? The snowflake sparkle. I like that. All right. Well, thank you everybody for watching, and I hope everybody is staying healthy. And so, thank you for watching again, and I will, I will catch you on the next video.